Hello. Hey. Hello, dungeon master. Hello. Are you ready to play? Hmm? To make play play? Yes. 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 We are ready. Yes. Oh, let, oh, let us begin. Oh, it's a tiny. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ooh. let's get it going. Yes. Ah, good. What's good. happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> let me uh, let me link that music because I believe just to give everybody a quick recap, when we last left off with our heroes, the brave Omega approached uh, the strange squiggling squirming portal going who knows where and with her faith in babylon pushed aside the writhing tentacles and entered the unknown gate moving quickly her companions followed and thus that is where we will pick up one moment please loading map uh by the way arcadum Mm -hmm. When you tweeted it out, you didn't actually link anything. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> we on the mail! Uh, <laughs> uh, can you edit twi uh, tw 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 Twitters? No, no. You can't edit Twitter. Here, I'll just... Uh... <laughs> just make a new tweet. It's okay. okay. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Helpful. You can do a quote retweet of your own thing. You, you can. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. How do you how do you do that? You just so you, you just retweet, retweet with the comment and then just comment the link. Add a comment. Okay. Ha ha ha! I like these here twitters. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're social media. <laughs> it's all over them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Uh, Omega lol. Omega lol. <laughs> My bad. Okay, Konica clap. Okay, Konica clap. Yeah. K -k clap. Okay, <laughs> Konica. Uh, it's like a. It's, it's, it's from like a uh, Billy version of Monica. Correct. That is. That was my voice for uh, Monica when I played that game. It was <laughs> K Konica. <laughs> Let's read some poems. It was pretty good. All right, now it's... Just K. Konica. Yep, Why I'm... am I spinning? I'm with the boy, so now it's time to... Oh, yeah. Was that a cold one I heard? Oh, a cold one. <laughs> What's... What's... What? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday, motherfucker! Oh, oh yes. Uh, thank you, chat room. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday. Happy now... birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Sexy birthday! Just smithers! Oh my god, here, let's, let's... Happy birthday, twins! One year closer to death! Yeah, one year! One entire year! <laughs> oh, there's nothing I love more than years! Yeah! yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, as you walk through the portal, First of all, you notice that there is something wrong with the walls and floor. All around you, also, play that music because it kind of fits. Yeah. I keep hearing random <laughs> sounds. Well, yes, uh, because what, what that is supposed to represent is that there is a strange echoing noise that filters a kind of through your mind as an errant yell screech that means nothing but yet is not just a normal echo. It pushes in against your mind, pushing you down with a heavy burden, as if you were carrying a great weight. Your head begins to ache already, and you've only just arrived. Ahead, you can see that there is a tear in the stone, which seems to have been made by pickaxe, as if this place was uncovered recently. On the other side, you can see nothing, but you can smell, well, dank water, pretty much. So dank. Someone's been blazing up in here. All right, I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> That's a good idea. 
Let's, eh. let's move. <laughs> okay. You go first, Grombus. You got a lot of HP. What's an HP? No less. Mate. Eh. What do you mean by that? Look, lizard lady, it was your idea to come in here. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's done here either. <laughs> All right, Omega, as you oh. enter this next room, it irradiates with a powerful divine force. Uh, you can zoom out a little bit. Here, I'll zoom you guys out. I'll show you where the zoom is. Right there. And you see an enormous statue to a tentacled entity that rides, or rather that seems to have been writhing and roiling in its creation. The statue is still, but you recognize it for what it is. This is a symbology Put of your lock and high as men. That's a very big oh, and place is fucking sexy huge. snake. I mean, freaking. Sorry, don't swear. Uh, uh. Shall we? Is that what that is? Woo! Happy birthday, motherfucker! <laughs> I like to get. Wait, I'm get supposed to go. If you know what I mean. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here again? <laughs> okay. A lock and high is the enemy of Babylon, and you have been yeah. specifically instructed by Babylon to seek out all that follow him within this place, to put them down, to remove his diseased madness. And destroy any altar that you can find. What's your is this an altar? Ah. What'd you say? Is this an altar? Uh, this is a statue, and it is most certainly an effigy towards a Loken High, and it would totally be My within apologies. your best you interest to destroy it. Us. The problem now is, I fear we will be homeless. Destroying it would be difficult, as it is an enormous statue made of solid stone. I could hit it. I could cast sleep on it. You know what, guys? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> All right. Is All this right. water okay? Eh. Uh, only one way to find out. <laughs> Cause you're right. All right. Well, here we go. This water is real wet. Oh, feels wet. <laughs> All right, as you walk I, through the I water, the wrong one. as you move through the water, you feel no difference in the water. It is cool. Uh, it is salty like the sea. So this leads you to believe... How do we know that if we didn't taste it? You can smell it. I want to taste it to be sure. Okay. Hey, you know what? Hey, I'm not going to do that again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm already concerned that I might die of any disease at any moment that I have, most likely. So maybe that's not the smartest idea. Mm. No shit. Thank you so for what do you mean? What are we doing with this statue? I can feel I that it's a source of... Uh... A lock and shit. high. A lock and high. The mad god. Have to destroy it, guys. It's part of the mad god's dink shit. Let's get rid of it. I want to touch it. I don't know. Oh, that's okay. good. You know I'm going to touch it. it. Touch it. I'm touching it. Mm. All right. Your gnome finger softly squishes against the stone. Oh. And nothing seems to happen. Oh. I like it. I'm gonna touch it I'm again. It with my axe. All right. Holy shit. You continue to touch. Yes. To squish. To yes. sensually stroke. Oh, yes. Nothing happens. Oh, Promise, as you raise your weapon and you strike against the stone, you leave no mark. In fact, <clears throat> if anything, your axe has taken more damage. Oh, seems pointless. My axe. Maybe we should look ahead. Alright. Yeah, Alright. That it. sounds like a very good idea. Upon mentioning this, your vision 
reaches outward past the statue. You can see that there is a northern passage, an eastern passage, and a western passage. There are also two southern passages of the eastern and western orientation. Each of them are blocked by a strange metallic door and laid with stone. Hey. Holy shit, you're back, Soup. Maybe no, we should uh, examine these stone doors. Yes. All right. All right. Turn over there. You approach oh, yeah. the western door. As oh. you do so, Belgor, you notice that there are etchings on the stone. Etchings that you recognize, for it is written in Thieves' Cant. Oh, perfect. I read the etchings that are in Thieves' Cant. As you read the Thieves' Cant, you see that these are shakily written by a hand coursing with fear. They offer a warning. Do not open. It says we shouldn't open this door, guys. Well, that's exactly oh, no. what they want you to not that's do. That's what they want you to think. Let's just yes, we have You're to right. open it, it is thieves. It is Thieves' Cant. Maybe they yes. probably want to keep all the treasure for themselves. Exactly. Yes. Let's go. Yes. yes. Okay. Listen, you guys. After I, you. I took a big head. I think you guys should go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to go last. Oh. If that's let okay. Me, let me try to open it. How, how do I open it? Let me try it? to push it. I'm going to try okay. to push it. Yeah, push it. <laughs> Grombus, you push it real good. The stone parts. And the door is now open. With a grinding oh. against stone. Up ahead of you, there ah. lies a simple hallway that leads to another door. What a strong man being able to open oh, the door. Okay. Okay. Oh, another one. All right. Oh. Everyone make a perception check when you approach this door. Okay. Oh! Holy fuck. Oh. All right. As everyone Very approaches, uh, Gnome senses a tight buttocks on the other oh. end of the door. He doesn't know how, but he senses it. It flows oh. through his very being. And then he overhears this. Sounds like some sexy boys on the other side of this door. I want to go sexy touch them. boys. So there are very other people here. Boy. You mean oh. not, not Wait, people home, you we should, should be meet careful. or people we should avoid? <laughs> But whether they're but sexy or not, sexy gnome, boys. You, you should be careful. <laughs> what do you mean? Whether they're what sexy the hell or not. Does that mean? You should be uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's like one of my favorite quotes from this fucking game. <laughs> whether huh? they're sexy or not, you should be careful. Uh, How about you, sexy boy, open it? That way I can look at your tight butt as you open the Maybe door. Maybe we should try one of the other butts. doors. One of the other doors that doesn't make a bunch of noise. <sighs> Alright, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> but the boys! <laughs> Come on, good all right. on. Alright, alright, alright. I don't think I'm strong enough to open it anyway. <laughs> but the boys. Very small arms. No, the boys. Well, it's what, why don't we try the one below us? All right. Yeah. That would be ah. southwest. Ah. More of a American me, Airlines person myself. Let me push this door open. Why are you looking at me? Oh, pardon me. Stab it! Get off of me! Ah! Alright, as you approach this door, you see that there is a similar warning in Thieves' Cant. There's a similar warning in Thieves' Cant. 
I like to think of it as Thieves' Tent. Do, they do you, do you hear anything? anything on the other side? Perception let me, check. Let me show listen. you. Oh. oh, I'm going to listen for the sexy boys. Hmm. Dude. Omega can hear nothing. Oh. I can hear nothing. Because all she hears is sexy balls. This echoing in her ear the whole time. <laughs> but you hear nothing on the other side. I don't hear anything either. Nothing. Oh. There, you hear nothing on the other side. Okay. No sexy boys. Push it open. What? Push it open. All right. All right. I ain't open it. Cause... Push, push it open. Push. Push, push, boys. I'm you not push open it yet. real good, and the stone door opens. Oh, real good indeed. Oh, really and as you really good. And as you open, the next room you see is a reliquary, complete with an altar to a lock and high. Horrible mutations of stone wrapped into either a carving or perhaps a petrified creature reach out from the walls. Their iconography, broken and twisted. Their visage, something from nightmare. And then here, you see the altar. The pulse in this room that you've been hearing is much stronger. Oh. I want to touch it. Yeah. All right. When Gnome, you get, how about oh, you stop well, touching things? When you get to this Gnome. point, Omega, I really like oh, okay. the, the divine power of Olak and High begins to pulse directly at you as if some Ooh. sort of defense mechanism. However, oh. you are protected by the faith, by your faith in Babylon. Okay. So, you're going to have to make me a wisdom saving throw, but you may oh. roll with advantage. Wait, 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 which one is that? All right, click Still? on your token, go to uh, where, where okay. it says saving throw under combat, click that, and then select uh, wisdom, and then do it again because you get to roll with advantage. Okay. And no need. You already made it. You are <laughs> unshaken by the presence Oops. of a lock and high that flows over you as the water would flow over a massive stone. However, Grombus is also assaulted. And must make oh. a wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh, alright. Uh, didn't know that. Uh, saving throw. It's dumb. Hey. Grombus. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Grombus is the mountain in which the stream flows from. He was unshaken when he was a child. Alright. <laughs> you two may enter. Okay. Unembroidered. Right. All right. Oh, wait, they're going to touch it before me. No. <laughs> I got to touch it. All right, Gnome. Make me a wisdom saving throw. I'm very... I don't actually know how wise I am, actually. Uh, uh, ability to check? Yes. No, no, it's a saving throw. You, you might have you proficiency. Right. So. There it is. I don't think... I think you have... Maybe? Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, you have proficiency. I'm pretty sure. All right. You feel... Uh, you start to feel it press down on you. The madness etching against your skin. Like a little person inside scratching at the gate. But you are able to resist it. Uh, someone was trying to touch me. I don't want that. I have to touch no one them needs. first. <laughs> Omega, as you approach yes. the altar, you can see that there is a great glass sphere that sits atop it. And within it, you can see that it is filled with a uh, viscous looking liquid. And within the liquid, you can see there is a brain and a pair of eyes just floating in place. Uh, this is disgusting. I... Are the eyes looking at him? The eyes are just <laughs> What is that grown beef? I know that. I don't think this is ground beef. Ground. Uh, How can we be sure? We have to eat it. <laughs> Here, you want to try eating it? Uh, can I lift it up? You can. can. I lift it? <laughs> All right, I'm lifting it up, and I want to break it on the fucking ground. All right. 
You lift it up and you shatter the glass against Ooh. the ground. The viscous liquid kind of washes over in a in a soft and horrible smelling sort of gelatin. <laughs> and there uh. is the brain and the pair of eyes. <sighs> All right, eat up. Oh, hold on. Hey, hey. Before that, oh, something oh, does oh, happen. Oh, ah. You hear this. Never so simple. <laughs> Drink of the wisdom. Drink of the wisdom. Drink of the wisdom. Uh, I think they want us to eat the ground beef. Do you say drink of the wisdom or drink of the wisdom? Um, my, my yeah. hand's a little shot. Well, so uh, do you want to split it evenly, or I, I can take one of the eyes, you can take the other, or we can split the... I think I'm the getting this time I'm not, there. I'm not eating this. Oh, I was talking to grab it. I'm going to step on it and then walk out. I'm done hearing it. All right, you smash the brain. I'll take an <laughs> And you walk away. What? All right, Belcar, we're done right. here. Yeah, uh, are, right. you, are you having some as well? This is weird. We'll just take an eyeball. That's all all I right, I'll, I'll have the rest then. Thank you. All right, you, you take an eyeball, Grombus. Do you eat it? No, just put it in my pocket. All right, you have a pocket eyeball. <laughs> What's that? Uh, yeah, no. Andy. You, uh... I eat it all! Other okay. than the eyeball he took. Yep. All right, you yep. begin to feast. Mmm. Mmm. Ground mm. beef. Oh, yes. And as you eat the eye, uh... Something happens. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I don't like that okay. <sighs> God damn it was it. too calm. <clears throat> trickle the wisdom, 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 trickle Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, did you hear something? <laughs> Guys, get back here. <laughs> oh, no. Get back here! Oh, 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 holy oh, shit! Good home! <laughs> drink, 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 drink. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That's pretty metal. Drink of the wisdom. Yeah, you said that. Okay, let's roll on the madness chart. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of madness. <laughs> All right, Gnome. Huh? You, you are granted the ability uh, to change one of your spells from any damage type that it would normally do into force damage. You may do this with any spell that you wish. In exchange, you are granted the following madness. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you have Phantasmachlorophobia. Which means that your fear of clowns is so massive that randomly in combat, phantasmal clowns can be summoned to fight the party. Ah, clowns! Uh, they're taking all the gnomes' jobs of being gnome, you so fucking funny. idiot. What? Uh, what? Um, I don't know if I have any spells that you do. Oh, that's that's fine. Okay. Other than my firebolt. Yep. So you can change that to force. Not done yet, because that's what happens when you eat the eyeball. You also ate the oh brain. Oh my god. So. <laughs> oh boy. Now we're going to roll on the mutation chart. What? Uh. Your chin grows a hand. 
hidden uh, within your beard. I have a beard hand. <laughs> All right, get in the get in the photo editor. <laughs> get it in uh, MSP. Yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> Alright. There we are. I'm going to just take this eyeball out of my pocket and just drop it on the ground right now. <laughs> oh, you dropped something. Here, 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 I'm going to squish uh, it under my foot, yeah, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh. I was yeah. going to eat that. Smash, smash. All right. Um, can I can I get out of this? Yes. Bear, huh? Yes, you can. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was that Very room. Very sexy statues. <laughs> you know, are you all feeling right. all right? You look a little, uh, little different. What, what do you mean? What's different about me? You you got, like a, are you, you making little, fun you of like my head again? Love. You're a handy what? boy. What was that coming out of your beard? My hand? A hand begins to wave from under his chin through the beard. <laughs> Hello! Oh, God. Hello! Oh, so, like, so he can't control the hand either? <laughs> Holy shit. No, he, he can. Oh, okay. Uh, It'd be funny if it had a mind of itself. Jesus Christ. Uh, guys, I didn't mean to do that. That wants to touch everyone's bums has another I hand. I thought that was my chin. What? Hey, can you guys uh, give me a hand here? <clears throat> the chin hand. Sure. Yeah. Oh, the chin hand. Yeah. The chin hand gives a thumbs up as it's ready to go. Hand. <laughs> I'm glad I might be. I'm gonna right. take a listen behind this door. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. Uh. Perception, right? Yep. Perception check. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Are we all doing it? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, all right. You do not hear <laughs> anything coming on the other side of the room. Or other side of the door, excuse me. Oh, he's probably fine in there. Uh, it's probably fine, just That's open okay. it. I don't hear anything. Push, push. All right, you push the door open and you see a similar room to the one that you just left. Um, here, let's just turn around. Yeah, you don't want whatever's in there. I mean, you've got one eye already. On, what, so... you want Gnome to eat another brain? Just keep him distracted. Ah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to do this thing Jesus. again, or can I just go in? As you approach, it does push against you, but you've already made it once, so you can resist it. Okay. Same thing with Grombus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. And within this particular sphere, you do not see a brain and two eyes. You instead see a heart, a lung, and a liver. I would have break it again. You pick that shit up, you smash it on the ground. Okay, I guess we're done in here. Please don't eat it. Nobody in here eat it, okay? What? There's I'm gonna stop on all the over there? on the ground. That's not food, it's... What do you mean? Stomp, 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 it's, uh, stomp, dirt. stomp, stomp. Alright, it stomps about. This is Grumpus stomping stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Alright, well, I guess this is the next door. I stomped him. All right, as the second altar has been destroyed, you see that the energy around the statue begins to waver. It has dimmed noticeably, and the errant pulsing has also slowed. Hmm. Interesting. That statue looks different. Maybe we should keep destroying these altars. Maybe there's one in here. We should listen in. Yeah. So Sounds like a plan. All right, perception checks. Is there any... All right, all right. All right, Belgor, you hear this on the other side. Where, where is everyone? 
<laughs> Drink of the wisdom. <laughs> Hold on, I have to update him. Oh, I see the picture. Looks good. Here, let me let me reveal this to the to the wonderful chat room. <laughs> it's so good. hear anything do we hear anything do we hear anything yeah I, did you guys not hear me describe it oh that was know. to this door yeah that was for that door i thought that was the other one no that was this one you hear did it? you repeat it i was distracted by didn't know <laughs> on the other side you hear trick of the wisdom trick of the wisdom i'm gonna push this door open oh push wait. push, push. <laughs> Did right. you hear that too? Belcor is that just Yeah, I definitely heard that. And you see these creatures. I'm gonna close this door. Close, close, close. <laughs> Alright, the creatures on the other side are horrible mutations of bone and flesh pulsating with strange mucus sacks that seem to drip and dribble all throughout the floor. They turn as if a pack of piranhas deep within the river water. They look at you with hungry, hateful, maddened eyes. The time for mercy has passed. Now is the time for initiative. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. And so the battle yeah. begins. Gnome. Twins in yes. is it ability? Uh, oh, uh. actually, before we start the fight, I have to roll for clowns. Oh, oh my god. You are safe. This time. <laughs> you were safe. I'm never <laughs> safe with clowns. <laughs> but you didn't think I was serious? Oh, this is initiative. Yeah. Oh, we all rolled an initiative. I rolled it for you guys already. Oh, oh god. Sorry. Yep. It's all good. You're all set up. Uh, all right, I guess it's I guess it's fight time. Borden. This is what happens when you worship a fucking god, guys. It's like Dookie. It's Dookie. Um, can you actually update my avatar again with this picture? Oh my god! All right. He <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. uses it for his little tricks. <laughs> I, I, I want I want you to to give me some sweet turns though. With the arm? No, no, it's your it's your turn. You go oh, first. it's my turn. Yeah, you oh, go first I, in combat. I that. Ah. <laughs> oh, very spooky, very spooky indeed. Well, I think they need a net. I'm going to cast sleep on them. On a. This one in particular first. Okay. Ah, uh, it is 5d8 if I remember correctly, right? Yep, sounds right. All right, in brackets. Ah. What? My man. The creature falls asleep. Very good. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna stay back here, but that's cool with everyone. Just arm wrestling myself. Very strong. Well, I think uh, I think these two can take a bigger hit than we can. Belgor, it's your turn. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna shoot an arrow at this guy. I think I have to move forward a little bit first. What's my range again? Your range is yeah. You gotta move forward to five feet at least. Yeah, your range is 60 without taking any penalties. 
So I move here. I can. Sh it won't kill Sari in the process, right? Correct. You, you can fire through her, no problem. Okay. She's a ghost. Fire away, partner. The arrow fires off and bounces off the creature's bone armor. What? That means it missed. Yeah, I know. Omega. Okay. Uh. What is? What is? We never got combat music, by the way. Oh, oh is the music? My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Thank you. Go with the classic. Wait. Boss do again. Go. 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 What does what do again? Oh. Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast is a ranged attack where you fire uh, force missiles from your, or, like, force rays from your hands. It's your ranged attack. Oh, cool. I'll do that. All right, go ahead and click it. Unfortunately, that is a one on the die. <laughs> and that will be a horrendous miss as you don't even shoot at them. You shoot straight in the air somehow. <laughs> Fuck the spell up. Oh, what? The hell? Feels bad. You may move if you wish. You know what? Yeah, I'll move a little. I'm sorry, guys. Alright. Grombus. <laughs> I'm gonna go into a rage. Your hair and looks perfect. Walk over here. Okay. Check out the wisdom. 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 Uh, this one will attempt to attack you, Grombus. Alright. And it will miss as its claw smashes into the stone with a horrifying force. To get hit by one of these creatures is to experience pain and death. Oh. Gnome. Ah. And I still think they are pretty sleepy. Uh, let me help out with that. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy noises. Which one? Oh, no. uh, uh, sure, that one. All right. The powers of sleep assault the creature, who staggers a bit, but then shakes it off. <laughs> oh, he wasn't as sleepy as I thought. You know, I just, ah. I just like had an epiphany that your yeah. character is one of the creepiest ones here because you're what? you're aggressively sexual and you specialize what? in sleep magic. What do you mean? Just, hey. just wow! I'm not creepy. creepy. <laughs> the old name Val Cosby. <laughs> what? What? I don't like that name. <laughs> All right, I believe it's my turn. Correct, Belgor. I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna shoot an arrow directly at oh, careful. this guy. You're gonna need a what? you're gonna need an athletics check to hop up here because this is elevated. That's why there's stairs. Oh, okay. I'll do an athletics check before I make that move. I was here, I believe. Yep. Okay, hold on. Um, athletics. Perfect. A back oh, holy oh. shit! A backflip of exceptional grace. I did an oh. insane fucking backflip onto the stairs, <laughs> and I shoot. And I, I'm I'm gonna nail this shot as well. All right, here we go. He's calling it. Which one? Uh, this one right here. Uh, yeah, at uh, the top. That one. Okay. Yeah. All right, firing at that one. That is in fact a hit. That does some good damage. Oh, wow! Catches Very a large nice. pustule oh. on the creature's chest, which explodes outward in an acidic, gross mucus. I do a foul afterwards. Finale. Omega. Wow. Hey, clap! Okay, the movement. I'll hit this with my spear. The one in front of me. Okay. You strike out with your spear, catching through the creature's bone armor and slicing away at its vulnerable flesh. Oh. 
Rhombus. The battle rages. Omega stands with you. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a screwing my great ex and bless it from five. Yeah. <laughs> Your ex brings low, but the creature catches it with its bony claw. <laughs> pushes you back. <laughs> The creature's strength matches your own. And now, it is their turn. Blessed One 4 looks down on Omega with massive frame. We will see which is victorious, strength or skill. The creature raises its claw and connects, breaking through your defenses, Omega. You take 14 points of damage. <laughs> Blessed One 5 raises its claw Attempting to break Grombus. Ooh, a blow. Dealing nine damage, reduced to four due to raging. Gnome. The front line begins to falter in rapid succession. I point at them and I cast a firebolt at one of uh, that creature. Okay. Do you choose to revert right. it to force damage? Remember, you can do that. Yes. Okay. My force bolt. Ah. Firebolt. That works. That works. Oh, okay. Force bolt fires outwards crashing into the creature's body, breaking several of its bones, collapsing several of its meat. But the creature does not fall. Uh, oh my god. Belgor. It's yelling. <laughs> I'll finish it off. I, uh... By the way, um... So I could do sneak attacks. Uh, can I, after I finish an attack, can I, like, hide or something? Ah, you can use a bonus action to hide. Yes, you can. Okay. However, you have outside. to have you have to have cover of some kind. So that means you'd have to um, you could I suppose jump into the water and dip down. You could try to go around the statue and hide yourself. I see. You can hide okay. behind me. Can I hide behind him? No, he's he's smaller than you. Well, okay. You can try though. I won't bite. I promise. I will. <laughs> I will do a. Uh, I will do another. Bow and arrow on the same guy. Here I go. The arrow flies true and catches the creature into its vulnerable central organ. Whatever it is, it must have been truly vulnerable for an explosion of a viscous, rotten, crimson blood <coughs> spews itself all over Omega and all <laughs> over Rhombus. Oh. <sighs> But the creature falters and falls. My pleasure. Omega. It was a pleasure to your watch. Your wound you is that. great, but you are not fallen yet. Can I? Can I? You know what? I won't. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my fucking spear and slam it into Blessed of one five. Slam away. Fuck. Unfortunate. Weakened from your wounds, <laughs> your spear goes wide and does not find a biting chance within the creature. Grombus. I'm gonna take another swing at five. Your axe falls high and finds a bite. But for some reason, you lost a bit of the swing and your damage is not quite what it should be. The creature smiles with its vertical mouth, its chest bones, rib cage, grinning wide in its serrated teeth. It brings down its claw on Grombus. Striking true, dealing 12 points of damage, reduced to 6 by raging. Pushed back, Grombus. The creature is not so easily broken, and to make matters worse, it seems it begins to roil, and the creature further screeches 
at the creature sleeping upon the ground, which uh. begins to stir. Gnome. Eh. Forest belt again! Eh! Wow, that was actually really good. As impotent as the bolts <laughs> might seem, every on bit the, of damage counts. On this one. The creature is struck. The damage yeah. is dealt. Anything else? Uh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and look at the sexy boy over here. Belgor. Alright. Um. Time to take this guy out. I jump back down. I shoot my bow and arrow at this guy. Okay. Uh. And then, as, oh, as a bonus, can I hide over here? Yep, as long as you have enough movement, which I think you do. Is, that, is this hidden? Um, that, let's, that's let's it, that's that it, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, so you roll forward, firing an arrow, fired in stupendous fashion. It finds its mark. And then you attempt to hide. Make a stealth check for me. All right. Oh my. Oof. Holy shit. There is not even have? a ripple of water as Belgord disappears. What? What? Where is this? Is he back? <laughs> Where is he? Omega, your wounds begin to mount. Okay. The fallen creature that is sleeping begins to stir. Okay, I'll heal. I'll heal. What's my, what's my healing thing again? You can heal up to ten. Okay. It's just healing, right? Yep. So you can just heal yourself for 10 with Lay on Hands. Shit. Right, right now? Wait, wait, how if do you I want, do? yeah. It's just, it's a, it's an action. You can touch yourself with Lay on Hands and you can okay, heal yourself. Oh, myself. please do. Really? Alright. Alright. <laughs> Does it click on something? No, or... just, uh, here, you, you can, uh, you go to go to combat, go to healing, click healing, and then just heal yourself. Oh, down. okay. Thank you. Your wounds are restored. Your faith in Babylon surges. Your wounds lessen. Stand tall, yeah. Omega, for your test is not over. Grombus, Omega stands tall at your side. <laughs> A worthy pack mate. <laughs> I'd like to use reckless attack. Oh. Go for blessed one five with yeah. my great axe. It's time to get reckless. <clears throat> Roll again. <clears throat> All right, that's fine. You swing recklessly, your axe going wide, narrowly missing Omega as you bring it down, <sighs> crunching into the creature. <clears throat> <clears throat> it fumbles and falters and falls in a broken heap. Ah, oh, you did it! However, the sleeping one slowly stands. Uh. It moves forward, its claw raised high, and brings it down on Omega. Striking true! Uh. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Omega <laughs> falls to the ground. Knocked unconscious ah! by the force of the blow. <coughs> Gnome, things are not looking so well. No. Well, that person wasn't as sexy as the others, so maybe they go. Uh, you fucking okay. bitch! Just fucking. <laughs> what? what do you mean? Ah, uh, uh, force bolt. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> force bolt. I'm, I'm this. Whoa. I'm this person. No, 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 no. A stupendous blow. The force leaves the creature reeling, pieces of its rib cage shattering like icicles into a, a pre-frost glyph. Belgor. Can I dagger this motherfucker with a sneak attack? Uh, let me see how much range you've got. 35, I believe. 35? Yep, that's plenty. You can walk right up to him, dashing hey, out know. of hiding. Check this out. 
Hell, <laughs> who said that? What? Oh, there he Ooh. Roll again, you have advantage. <laughs> okay, so you didn't do any better. All right, and thus you do. Quick as a flash, your dagger finds an exposed area, slices, twists the knife. But the creature's body is strange. You're unable to find the kill shot. Uh, Omega, it uh, seems that your uh, faith uh, will be tested. Roll for me a death saving throw, which is a simple d20. And you do it like this. I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> It seems that fortune is not with you. You begin to bleed out. Your life force is fading. That counts as a failure. When you get to three failures, your character dies. If you succeed three times, then your character no longer has to make checks and survives. As long as they're not finished off. If you roll a natural one, it counts as two failures. If you roll a natural 20, your character's eyes open and you arise with one HP. Hey, uh, Grombus. Grombus. <laughs> Your comrade has fallen before this creature. I'm gonna run around like this. And hit him with my great axe. Your axe falls <clears throat> short. Caught on the wall. <clears throat> Blessed One will turn and stare this down Belgor and will raise its claw. Ah! Striking true. A massive blow. Mortality clarified. In a single strike, Belgor falls to the ground with Gnome watching. Ah! Gnome, half of yeah, you are I down. Want that one to die. Very <laughs> sexy boy. But not as sexy as the other ones, so I mean, if he if I had to choose between the two, uh, well, eh, I suppose I could help them up if we go there. Uh, there, there. Uh, all right, fire's bolt! Ah! Once more, a <laughs> maximum damage roll as Gnome, using the power of fear, pees a little and fires the force bolt. I'm not afraid. What? The creature's head implodes on itself, else. and a blood fountain of bone and flesh spews out in all directions. And for <clears> now, <throat> it would seem, the danger has passed. <clears throat> we are now out of initiative. However, <clears throat> there are still those that have fallen upon the ground. Belgor, Sexy boy. death saving throw. D20, same thing as sorry did. Uh, D twenty in brackets, right? Yep. You pass. Oh. Omega, death saving throw. I was just kidding. Oh. You pass. Oh. All right, and that's that's enough because the other two can just stop you from bleeding out. Oh yes, I can. Can we squeeze your head? All right. Oh. You have stopped the bleeding in the other two, but now half of your party is in horrible disarray and are still unconscious. You will need to find a place to recuperate. Don't I have a health potion? I'm pretty sure I have I one, one of those as well. Yeah, why don't we um, use them on them? How about we drag them back out to the statue? Oh, I like that idea. All right, you. You grab the light one, or grab the heavy one. Um, uh, uh, it's a little bit too big. Uh, mm, uh, just uh, keep trying, you know, just keep trying. All right. Once you get to the water, it's a little bit easier. All right, let's go. Oh, I opened up my notes. Gurgling water. Let's go. You're like... Oh, what? What happened? Why did you... Um, we're going this way. Okay, which which room are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we Who's going? Who's following me? <laughs> we're going 
Yeah. Just just there? Okay. Yeah. All right, so now the party, obviously, not really having a choice at this point, may now spend a short rest. So you may spend your hit dice, which you have two of them, and they equal whatever your character's hit dice is. So, for posterity, D12, D10, D8, D6. Wait, sorry, what? Which one am I? You're a D8. D8, yeah. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and roll a D8 to heal yourself, and, and uh, sorry, go and roll a D10 for yourself. I feel fine. So I heal myself for five? Correct. <laughs> Unfortunate. I want to. Uh, how do I heal? Oh, there it is. All right. This is orange juice all over again. Bell oh, whoops. I healed myself for more than I should have. I was supposed to heal myself for five. Do I just do three damage to myself? Two damage. I right. get a spell slot back. Don't worry, because you still have one more hit dice apiece. So, Omega, or excuse me, sorry, you can roll a d10. Okay. D- get d- it d- one d- again. Mm-hmm. It'd be really funny. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Belgor, you may roll a d8. Okay. Okay. What the Ooh. fuck is this shit? <laughs> Do I heal for eight? Yes, you do. Good. How do I flip myself back over? All right. Uh, here, I got you. I'll now, think. I know Omega doesn't have any con, but does Belgor? I can't remember if Belgor has con. Oh, he does. He does have one. All right, so heal yourself another two hit points. Belgor. Another two? Oh, I'm, I'm full. <laughs> You're full. Uh, You're full. Can I, uh, can I give my health to you guys? I was just Omega. messing around. <laughs> Okay, now, remember, you're here. you should have HP potions in case you need to recover further. Yeah, can I use one? <laughs> yes. Use his. Mine's mine. Mine's for this little boy. Mm. Wait, wait, let me turn. I'm going to turn off this battle music. Oh, yes, the battle is done. Are we sure? Hmm. Not sure. What if it isn't done? Sure do love me some Dungeon's Dungeon, man. It's a very good game. Very hard. But very dark. Uh, I'm gonna go check the bodies really quick. Very dungeon. <laughs> of course, that's what you do first. <laughs> All right. As you go and you investigate the Blessed Ones, you begin to rummage around in their sacks. And what you're able to find Ah. is mucus, pus, disease-ridden blood piles, and the errant twinkle of treasure. Ooh, treasure. I grab the treasure immediately. As you open the creature's insides, you see that the creature's treasure, quotations, is simply... A pack it must have had in life that has morphed into its body along with its other flesh and bone. You tear at the straps. You tear open the, the, the strange leather algamations, and you're able to salvage a total of 100 gold pieces. All right. Oh, well, all right. Wow. Wow. Did, uh, did we ever check the rest of that room? Where the bodies are? Where the bell go or when? Can I heal no, myself? I figured we should recuperate <laughs> first. Uh, you <laughs> do have access to two spells. Whoops! You can yeah. use those spells, but if you use those spells, then you won't be able to have any fuel for Divine Smite, which is okay. your big damage attack, so you're going to have to make a choice. <laughs> well, do doesn't we, Rhombus do we have, have a potion? potion? Yeah. You have a potion? You also have one, uh, sorry. Yeah, can I use that? Yeah, you can use that. Would you like to use it? Oh, yeah. Okay, you heal seven hit points. Oh, wow. It's better than You want another one? No, I'm good for now. Thank you, Rogus. Uh-huh. 
So, uh, should we check it out? Check, check what out? The, the rest of the room that where the yeah, monsters yeah. were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good idea. Now that we've uh, full of gotten good rid of the threat. Hey, you're in me. Oh, where the fuck am mm. I? Oh. <laughs> you were in me. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they must be protecting a treasure. There must be lots of push, push. nice treasure yeah. on the other side All of the right. store. Rhombus yeah. just says, fuck it, pushes right past the door. Oh. And inside here, you can see a horrible looking creature. You can see what could only be described as a flesh statue comprised of six arms equipped with different stone cleavers. The creature's chest, well, in the creature's chest, there sits a chest. Well, seems safe. Are they? Belgor, there's a chest in the, in the chest. Do you want to go Hello? open it? Yeah, of course. Open it. I I do a quick uh, observation. Okay. Uh, should I do an observation check? Yeah, perception. Percep of course, perception of course. I'm gonna take a look. Um, <laughs> same time. About one second. I'm gonna roll perception, but not on the room, but on Grombus's butt. <laughs> Can I check for traps? Is that a different Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can, yes. You can do that, Omega. Uh, which okay. is what you would just roll perception for. Okay. Um, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Of all the things you could have used that 20 uh, for. <laughs> Gnome, uh, as you stare at... <laughs> Look, okay. As you stare at Grumbus' uh, posterior... Uh, your actions are rewarded because it seems that Grombus, in the course of the fight, seems to have undone his buckle on his belt, and you see <laughs> that uh, he is—he is, he is kind of showing a little uh, oh! bit of that green, um, green Grombus. Green, <laughs> you see his Grombus. Yeah, but he's peeking through. You see the shape of it. I see the shape of it. Very, very nice. Oh okay. What were we doing? Would you guys like to uh, continue? What did you say? What was that? What? I was just, oh. I, 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 was just I was just looking at the room. Oh, wait, wait. oh okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, then, did, did my perception check give me anything, by the way? Oh, you see no traps. Okay. Where, where, where is the chest? I can't see it. Well, that's because it's inside this. It's the chest is within the chest of the creature. Mm. Ah, Thomas, you, very funny. You look tough. Why don't, why don't you reach inside that chest and grab that chest? You see how many arms that thing is? Yeah. You can take a hit. <laughs> you have a problem against arms? <laughs> what? Why don't you give me a hundred gold? Then I'll do it. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a hundred gold, but I want half of whatever's in that chest. All right, yeah. I was going to give him all of it. <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to reach up for the chest, see if I can pull it out. All right, you reach up, you grasp the chest to pull it out, and as you try to pull it out, the statue begins to move. No. <laughs> uh. God. Trick of the wisdom. Trick of the wisdom. Trick of the wisdom. You must answer. You must answer. You must answer. Answer what? My 
my lord speaks, my lord knows, my lord sees, my lord breathes, what is my lord? Your man! Yeah, I know the Sphinx riddle. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh, look and I. The sweet sucker of a name, spoken so softly, upon lips unworthy. Take thee the chest. All right. You grasp the chest and you pull it free, and the statue is unmoving. I got it. All right, let's open that bad boy up. Yeah. All right, let's, let's open her up. All right. As you begin to open it up, the chest within is empty. Ah. Well, what kind of bullshit is that, <laughs> statue man? The statue you is unmoving and does not respond. However, Gnome, what? Where the others see nothing, you see something. Oh, I bet I do. <laughs> I knew I stashed my magic porn stash somewhere. You see a lever inside of the chest. What? Well, I can't really eat that. Might as well flip it. Is, is that what you do with levers? You don't press them. Those are buttons, right? I'm going to flip the lever. Anything. What are you talking about? Hey, what? what? What do you mean? There's a lever in there. There's nothing the inside. Jesus, it's really getting to him. Jesus what? fucking Christ. If there's a lever, then flip it. All right, fine. I'll flip it. You walk All over right, to the chest. The chest. Yeah, Are I walk it. Yeah, oh, I bet I do. And do you flip the chest? I flip the, uh, flip oh, the lever. Yes, I flip the chest, and then after <laughs> that, I flip the lever. You pull on the lever. It clicks into place. Yeah, yeah pulling, that's the word. There we go. And you hear... Drink of the wisdom. Drink of the wisdom. And you hear a grinding sound somewhere else. Within the complex. Well, who's that? What? I think my lever opened up something. I heard grinding. My ghost lever. All right, and let me roll. Okay. What? Uh oh. Go ahead. As you were. I, I, I don't like that tone. Man. Mr. God, you. Eh. Where are we going? I want to take Where? another look at these stone blades on this statue. Are All they right. fixed in place? They are not. Ooh. Oh no. Reach up and grab one of these blue ones right here. Okay. You grasp the stone blade. You pull it free. Of the statue. As you do so, the creature's arm shifts and goes against its chest. Eh. All right, what are you doing? Getting myself a new toy. That looks like a weapon. I, I don't think it's a toy. Yeah, it is. A weapon's toys? Mm. It put its, uh, Put its hand against his chest. I wonder if it means something. Maybe it's just one of those awkward things where it doesn't know what to do with its arms. That's very true. Yeah. 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 I've been getting that so problem gonna, often, very recently. It, just... <laughs> how does how does that sword feel? Yeah. It feels kind of heavy, like it's made of stone. It's imbalanced. Does it feel better than... Really imbalanced. Maybe you should grab on another one. Yeah, grab another one. Grab a different color. Yeah, yeah uh, do we? Uh, Alright. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. 
I mean, brick. Oh, grab I mean, you're gonna grab one from the same side? I mean, come on. All right. You grab the uh, the next blade, and its hand goes to its chest, just like the other one. See, it's a, it's a th- it doesn't know what to do with his arms. It's just the chest. Yeah. You know, it'd be really funny if you were to uh, take away all his swords. That does sound pretty good. Carrying funny. six swords. Just put them on the ground and <laughs> hold his feet. Jesus Christ, all right. All right. Do you take each of the stone blades and you lay them on the ground? Yeah. All right, as you do so, all of the hands retreat to the chest of the statue. And as this happens, the statue will begin to quiver. And then it will begin to grind backwards as a hidden chest is revealed. Whoa! And now is the chest in its chest again, or where is it? Uh, chest in opening. I believe I was promised half. <laughs> yeah, not this one. The one in the chest. <laughs> yeah, you want half the lever? No one ever said what chest. I, I, yeah, I, I believe you, you were pointing at the one in the chest. I believe I was promised half. All right, do you pick. We that, don't even know what's in it. Do you pick that chest up? Yeah. As you pick oh, that yeah. chest up. There are runes atop the chest that begin to speak as you pick it up. The hell's the rune? All right. And it asks in a strange, errant... uh, You understand the language, but it speaks it in your mind. The runes do. And it only speaks it to you. Drink of the wisdom. If you say me, you break me. To some, I grant peace. To others, madness. I am... Silence! No one's, no one's talking, Grump. That's what I'm waiting. What do you mean? You don't hear that. What are you talking to? What? No. <laughs> so, so, you, don't, you don't hear the silence. Silence. Why did you yell at us? All right. I, I mean, I... Grumbus yells. Silence. Nothing happens. Are you going to open the chest? Or... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try. All right, you attempt to open the chest, but it, it resists being opened. What the hell? What's wrong with it? I ain't you, I ain't you little riddle. What the hell? What riddle? riddle? What do you mean? We already answered the riddle. No, there's a, you didn't hear the other riddle. Eh, take, take, what hold on. riddle? You go take a look. Whoa. Belgor takes a look. Oh. Belgar takes a look at the chest. The chest appears to be a stone chest, and it's sealed shut. You don't see any evidence of runes, and it doesn't do anything when you touch it. Mm. I want to touch it. Is there a lock on? There is not. I can't. I can't seem to open it. I want to touch it. Jesus okay. Christ! Touch it. Ah, hey, touching it. Mm. Your, your, your it. sensual touching does nothing mm. and reveals no new it information. something, I'll tell you what. What, what did it say? Thing. What did it say, Grombus? It, it was like, it was like, it's like golden, and like, when you speak of it, it's broken, and, uh, it's like, it's like maddening to some people. It was a riddle, and the answer was silence, obviously. Wait. Everyone shut up for a second. Shh. Does everyone remain quiet? Yeah. After a few moments, the chest opens. Half. Oh, I'll just shout it. 
<laughs> shouted and just wanted me to be quiet. I will take a look inside. Half. All right. Inside you find five silver ingots. Each of them worth 800 gold pieces. Half. That's that split uh, big You want to split that ingot in half? Well, you also uh, find something else. A wand made of an ivory uh, horn. Half. What no, you don't wand? split a wand in half. Why not? Uh, um... Actually, I don't know why. I mean, I, I mean, it makes sense. Two wands will appear after that. So, if you want to be magical, we could do that. You want to be? You want to learn magic? No, take it. Ah, all right. I'm sorry. I might have accidentally been speaking over. Uh, was it besides the ingots and the wand? Was there something else or no? That's it. Okay. I'll be right back. Mm. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Right. Belgar greedily takes two ingots. I don't want any. What'd you say? That... I want one. I take one. Oh, I take I'll, one I'll ingot. Take, I'll take two of them. Two of those ingots. Good home, you can have a... You can have the stick. Yes, I like sticks. Take the stick. You're stick gonna die anyway. You know what I mean. I want to stay here while... It, it feels like we don't... We don't have... It feels like God has left us. Because that's all that's in here. Yeah. I feel kind of godless. Are you gonna? Are you gonna I put know, that? I lost some sort of sense of direction. Are you gonna put that wand in your third hand? I was gonna put it in my butt, but uh, I guess I could put it in my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, that sounds like so a you, smart idea, actually. I was slowly you guys seen again. any movies? Oh, lately? never mind. I got it. Yeah. Uh, movies? Uh, where? Uh, um, what are them? I don't really know. It just felt fitting to ask, you know? Oh, Silence. Okay. So, uh, how are the kids? This hair really makes me feel ahead of my time. Yeah, it does. It's really hard to know where you're looking, actually. Oh no, my eyes, my gaze, it's real mysterious. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like you're always looking forward. Not really looking at people. See, like right now, I don't know if you're looking at me or not. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. You never know. Guys, thank you for coming down here with me. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we did it. Just wait in that cave, drinking piss like we were. Yeah, you would go in there and you just fucking die. Yeah. Like you almost did earlier. I did. Are you guys coming I mean, to me? To be fair, I only, I only came because Grombus was quick. So. <laughs> Sexy boy. Yeah. What's that? Right. We got a stick for it. Good job. Wait, what was that? Yes. What? What was what? What? Why should what? we come down because you're mate? I probably should have. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, proof when I came. Yes, I want to protect you. Yeah, that's it. So, so, I'm just, let's just chill for a second. Yeah. Do you have any more of that, that, uh... This reminds me of a story! Any more what? I love, I love good old stories. Oh! I I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It just it was please tell me a story. story. All right. Well, well, this reminds me of when my parents were brutally murdered. You see, when I was just a boy, I a very bad wizard came 
and tried to kill me, but my parents stopped him and sacrificed themselves to protect me. And so now I have this and scar then... on my forehead that I cover up with my hat. And then I went to school for magic for a while. And then I and then I died. And then I came back to life. Ah. And then I and then I killed the bad man who killed my parents. And now I have a lot. Yeah. You might get any friends at that school. Hey, I'm back. I uh, yeah, but my my best friend, you know, kind of kind okay. of fucked me. I'm getting bored of you know, this. You know, and dated, dated I, my I, other best friend. Best friend cucked you. I was you kind know. of into. Best friend uh, cucked you. <laughs> yes. Yes, you missed a very good story. I'm sure I did. Yes. It's about how I got a wand, kind of. And cucked. And cut. All right. Well, uh, is the wa is the wand uh, ground is special? That I took, by the way. Ah, uh, the wand is special, but you will have to identify what it does. I still kind of want to go in the other room. Yeah, we never went I, I think I mean, we those should. Things weren't so bad. Let's, let's, well, let's check, check this one first. This one's next. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This one's. Let's just check out this one first. It's, it's closer. Okay. Let's see. All right, perception check. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah. Uh, one second, please. Sorry. My perception is, of course, the speed of fourteen. Nope. Not quite. All right, you do not sense anything on the other side of the uh, the other side of the door. Push, push. Ah, the door does not budge, for it is locked. Nah, we forgot the key. What key? It always works. Yeah, key in the what chest? Do this time? Maybe it's in that room to the left. Uh. West. Uh, How do we know it's west if there's no compass? Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, we know things were making noises behind here. Very sexy noises. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick the door open. All right. That sounds... Pretty cool. I'll walk back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So I'm just gonna stand over here. Yeah. We're just gonna All stand right. over here. I'm gonna just make a mm. strength roll. You know. Just for Can reason. I roll another perception check on Grombus's butt? All right, Grombus. You slam open the door. Crash. And you see these two creatures. <laughs> Hey there. Once again, like piranhas to the water, they surge forward, hungry for a meal. And thus, the battle begins anew. Belgor, you receive initiative. I forgot what that means. That means you go. You go it's, your, it's your turn. Oh. Hey. Once more, into the breach. All right, I'm going to shoot up. I'm going to shoot at this guy. I'm going to shoot with my bow. Fire away. All right. And then I'm gonna hide behind her and go for a sneak. Okay. All right, go ahead, roll it. Ah. Snake. Snake roll. Belcourt. Belcourt, stealth check. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I was, I dropped some money on the floor. Um, oh. oh. Right here, let me pick it up for you. <laughs> Don't you please. Easy. 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 
Okay. Dunno, now that it is your turn, it is time to roll for clowns. Oh, no. You are safe. Uh, okay, good. I thought I saw some clowns over there. Very spooky clowns. Whoa. Ah. All right. Ah. I would suggest maybe not go in their room. Uh, I feel like there might be more. Because we only see the two in front of us. And it looks like it's a very big room. So maybe... Maybe not all go in. I don't really have away. a choice at the moment. You can just let them come to us. Uh, all right. I need to move closer in order to make them fall asleep. So I move over there. Now I can make them fall asleep. Hmm. <laughs> That's what my brain told me. So I'm going to make the one on the top fall asleep. Yes. Yes, okay. Falls unconscious. Fast. Ah, yes. Omega. Yes. I'm gonna go a little closer, breathe in. And then I'm gonna do my Eldritch Blast again. Okay. Fire away. Ooh, that's a crit! Yeah. Roll another d10. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. You fire your Eldritch Blast. The power of Babylon surges through you as it strikes Blessed One Three. Its insides blow back as its leg comes clean and clear from its body. <laughs> Blessed One. <laughs> Moves very slowly. Hopping menacingly. Oh. But is unable to do anything. The other one is fast asleep. Grombus. <sighs> Into a rage. And I'll swing my great axe at Blessed One Three. You strike out, but your blade misses. Caught in the creature's bone armor. <laughs> Belgor. Uh, I have a sneak attack, right? Correct. So, I'm going to move. What's my bow range? 60, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, how lovely. I'm going to move here. I'm going to shoot that bow at that motherfucker. Uh, maybe not shoot the ones that sleep. Huh? Which one? There's only the sleeping one, right? Well, this one's still up. He's not dead yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I missed that guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know please what? don't. I, I, I already do that. I'm just going to dagger this guy. Give him the dagger. Sneak attack. Oh, sneak Whoa. attack he does. Slam, Rob's on fire. The creature's other leg is cut off and shoved in its own mouth. Belgar bows and says, the lady. Oh. What? Uh, uh, no, never mind. What? Oh, you said, what? I thought you said the lady. I no, didn't no lady, it. no lady. <laughs> like, I, like, I killed the thing in front of me. I got it. I... Did he, like, try to kick his, like, non existent hat? Is that what he just did? Gnome. Eh? It's your turn. Um, well, I don't want to go in there. Uh, and I don't really want to wake it, so, uh,. I'm going to look at Rambus's butt. Okay. okay. Omega. Alright, uh I'm gonna wait to Do I have any other attacks? You've got your spear that I mean you could just walk actually how far away you are. Not close enough to get to him to stab yeah. him, but you could shoot him from this far away. Or you could just move up to him and hit him next turn, because he's asleep. Wait, I can shoot him? Yeah, with your Eldritch Blast. 
Oh, shit. Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, now it will be a disadvantage because he's prone. Oh, wait, misses. What? That, that misses anyway. Okay, so yeah. when a creature is like on the ground prone, they're mm. harder to hit with ranged attacks because they've like gone to ground. You see what mm -hmm. I mean? It's a harder target yeah. to hit. So when someone's prone, it's an advantage to attack them in melee, but it is a disadvantage to shoot at them. Okay. But it looks like that's it for you because that is a miss anyway. Blessed One does nothing because he's still asleep. Grombus. I'm gonna start running in. About there. You can perform the dash action and move the rest of the way, but you won't be able to do uh, anything else. No. Uh. Wait, hold on. No, I'm gonna sit right here. Okay. Felgor. Uh. Oh jeez. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over here and be stealthy. Oh, I guess that's a fair point. Being unconscious they have advantage, so it cancels it out. But that is just for the future. Like if you're fighting an opponent that is not unconscious. Uh sorry if they're prone, then take this advantage. So I could I could go stealth do I have to do another stealth check? You don't have to do any of that. It's already uh, going to grant advantage if you attack it with melee. Uh, but but I'm I'm doing that in case it wakes up next turn. Oh, you can do that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe it wakes up when you hit it. I'm planning ahead. That. Very good. So. No, no. Uh, well. It appears there's not anything in there, so I think it's okay to actually uh, hit it, I guess. Um, sorry, Grumbus, if it wakes him and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to cast my Force Bolt on him. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, another crit, roll another d10. Mm -hmm. surging with eldritch power. The creature is blasted backwards for 14 damage. It is most certainly awake, and also against this wall. Oh, wow. You basically shot him off the ground. He flipped through the air and then fucking smacked into the wall. 10 out of 10. Omega. Ten. It is your turn. Oh, shit. How far can I go? I'll go here. Um, wait, how far is this? Can I... Oh wait, whose turn is next? Uh, next is my, uh, next is the enemy's turn. Alright, uh, can I use Protect? I think you told me I have Protect now. Uh, yes, but I believe you have to attack, let me go, let me double check that real quick, but you do have that, hold on. Let me go read what that is for your fighting style real quick. Ah, yes, you just have to be within five feet of them. Yeah. So, yeah, you're protecting them, just standing next to them. Okay. Can I still do something? Yeah. It's like you can uh, shoot another Eldritch Blast if you want. Okay. That's fine. All right. Even more damage. My. <laughs> the creature gets up quickly. Spending no extra movement, and it moves in for the kill. <laughs> it turns towards Grombus, raises its claw. However, Omega, you stand at Grombus's side. The shield wall will remain complete, and the creature is granted disadvantage. But only if you choose to use your reaction to do so. Would you like to do that? Yes. Okay. I have disadvantage. All right, that turns that into a miss. The claw comes down, going right for Grombus's eyes, but it is deflected by the skillful oh. shield of Omega. Thanks. Yeah. Grombus. Kick his ass, Grombus. 
You already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, Rhombus' swing goes wild. Belgor. Uh, I, I believe I'm stealth, so I'm going to go for a dagger attack. All or nothing. Hey, oh. Oh. <laughs> My bad. All right, your strike finds purchase. The creature takes eight damage, falters, and falls to the ground into a gurgling mass of pus. Ooh. And thus, this battle comes to an end, and the danger no for now problem. has passed. You are now out of initiative and may act freely. I'm not um, touching. Alright, uh, what's in the room? In this room, you see that this is a makeshift barracks. Filled with strange cots, straw pillows, and minor possessions. Ooh. Ooh, let's I'm check this out. Can I check this dead body then? Yeah. As All you right. check the dead body, and you begin to cut through its pus, what you're able to find, Omega, is a small pouch of gold with 50 gold in it, and a strange stone key. Oh, yeah. All right, I take them both. As you search for beds, oh, you're, boy. you're searching that one, you get 50 gold off that guy. Uh, oh. And he oh, did yeah. not have a nice butt. Oh. <laughs> wow. oh. I was promised good butts. And as you search the search beds of the barracks, you do not find anything of interest or note. Rubbish. <laughs> What'd you find, Omega? I found a key on this, uh, dead, disgusting thing. It's not very nice to call Belgor that. I don't think Belgor is dead. He's, he's, <laughs> he's very stinky. much alive. What? Uh, uh, right, 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 right. So you found a Did key. You guys Nobody was trying on that door or... out there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Belgor. Uh, Belgor checks the coming? bag. Sorry. Oh wait, do we check everything? Sorry. Yes. I was uh, I was distracted. Oops. We found a key. Yeah, oh. I found a key. Uh oh, I got an unexpected error has occurred. Is it going to crash? No, that's oh, no, because okay. multiple people were moving the same token. It happens. Here, I can just move you all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just move oh, you. Oh, okay. Because you're going to go into the door, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. You don't know my life. Are you? Or are you not going to the door? <laughs> yes, I'm going to the door. I just, you know. Whoops. That was a mistake. Uh, just give me a sec. Hey, there we are. Can I use the key on the door? You sure can. All right, I'm, I'm smashing it in the door. What do I do? All right, you oh. reach, you 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 slap oh. the key against the door before Grombus slowly tilts your hand towards the keyhole. Thank you, Grombus. All right, you no problem. Place the key within the keyhole. You twist and turn, and then the key enters the door completely. And the door opens, grumbling low. As the thick stone door opens on the other high, on the other side, you hear this. I think they're playing the newfound kids music. It is a chant, a ritual chant. <sighs> Is that a didgeridoo I heard? I think so. All oh, like the kids are playing it. So, well, might as well go up there, Grombus, you know. I'll <laughs> yeah, follow right. behind you. Hmm. I'm going to take a look around before we go any further. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. 
All right, in this area, you see that there are two great doors that seem to be open, and the doors are long since rusted and have only opened with great effort. You believe you recognize this, the gnome. What? Could be what was opened when you pulled the lever. Uh, wait, which one? Both of them. Both of them. Well, I feel like my lever chest opened these up. What was that? Uh, the, the, the lever chest? You know, the one that Belgor wanted half of? Yeah. I get half. Yes. Do you still want half of it? I get half. Wait, I'll half. tell you what. You look that oh, way, and we'll, we'll get the rest of it. You take a look in the left side while we all go yeah. in the right. Yeah. If you want half so bad. Yeah. He's thinking of that. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at his picture. I know, like, I was looking at his looking. picture like he's thinking about it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Rob? Sorry, they're they're trying to distract me. I <laughs> what I need I need I need caught I need like a quick the last thing I heard was Gnome saying the chest thing. I'm 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 paying attention now. They were trying you to distract have so bad. What are you looking at left door? And we looking the right. Uh you you wanna split up? No, it sounds you like you do. You want you? to? You want half of everything. Mm. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? Yo. You could die. Yeah, that'd be a little bad. Bel Belgard is a quick perception in here before we continue. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, hold on. Perception check. You do not see any traps. I guess we'll start with Belgor, since this is happening happening simultaneously. Belgor, as you enter your side, you see that there are two sarcophagi. You know what that is, yeah? It's like where dead bodies are stored. Correct. Two sarcophagi. But they are written in strange runes, which appear to be dwarvish. The stone lids have sort of popped open from alchemical seals. The scent, uh, the scent of death and decay is overpowering, but there also is something strange about the sarcophagi. Specifically, that they appear to be much deeper than they should. Hmm. So I could see into them. From this from this position, you can see into them a little bit. Yes. Okay, well, I'll get closer and take a look inside. As you look at the northern sarcophagi, and you peek inside, since you have elven sight, you're able to see into the darkness a little bit. You can see the shine of gold and oh. the body of a skeleton. How deep is this thing? It is about 10 feet deep, which is pretty deep. And there's no way out, right, once I jump in? Well, if I jump in, of if, course. If you were to jump in, you it would take some difficulty to jump back up and out. You would have to jump 10 feet, <laughs> essentially. Hmm. Uh, I'll look at this other one. As you move to the southern sarcophagi, you can see another corpse, but all around it are not is not gold, but rather weapons. Are they poking up to where I'll die if I impale myself, if I jump onto them? They are sheathed and orderly. And this one's 10 feet deep, too? They are. How high can I jump? Uh, the height that you can jump is pretty limited, and it will require an athletics check. If you do well, you could probably make the jump, because it isn't it isn't a true 10 feet, but it will require a pretty high athletics check. The can DC, I do wall jumps, Super Mario style? Well, that's assumed that you're doing that. So, that's already assumed that you're doing that in your athletics check. Basically, it's a DC of 18. Okay. Can I do it before I jump in? <laughs> or do I have to jump in first? You have to jump in first. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. <laughs> you push past the sarcophagi's lid, and you jump down between the weapons. The weapons glitter and gleam all around you. The corpse turns its head towards you. <laughs> it screeches out, grasping at you with bone hands. This was a horrible idea. You have but a singular <laughs> moment to take a single weapon if you wish to grab something from this. What kind of weapons are there? There are swords, axes, bows. Basically, you get to choose the weapon that you want. There's so many. I choose a bow. All right. You choose a short bow and grasp it quickly. And now you will have to jump. I'm going to be very, very clear. Robert. The creature within with the, the creature in there with you is slow. And it will take some time for it to attempt to grasp you. So you will have two chances to make this roll to escape. If you do not succeed, you will be given another save. If you fail that save, your character is dead. Oh boy. So <laughs> make me an athletics check. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm pretty athletic. Let's see. Yeah, I used to be a, a rugby player. You jump up. Your hands grasp the cusp of the sarcophagi. But fine, no purchase. You slide back down. The DC Ooh. is 18. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I believe, this is I where believe, you die. You get a second oh, chance. All right. Oh. Everybody, believe. <laughs> Don't die. Give Belgo your energy. Oh, oh that's a bad He reaches up. His nails. Claw into the stone. The skeleton grasps. Belgor. Why is the skeleton so fucking strong? He grasps you. I throw the holy water at the skeleton. He screams within your face. Make me a wisdom saving throw. A, wi a what? A wisdom Wis saving throw. What? Uh, where is that? Okay, click is that under skill check? Saving throw it's a uh, saving uh, throw under combat. Okay, okay, wisdom. It would seem that although you may not be very good at jumping, your body is made of harder stuff as the skeleton screams its death screech, attempting to rob you of your life. It stays clinging to you. The skeleton falls back to sleep upon the weapons, and the weapons seem to recede into the stone. That's not my bow. Your bow remains. Oh, and convenient. it seems that you may leave at your leisure. Whew. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to How do I equip this bow? You just you you have to identify it first, but it's just a it's a bow that works, but it is obviously made of a higher quality. I would like to identify this bow. To do that, you will need the identify spell. I don't have that, do I? Correct. You will need to have somebody else uh. do it for you. But would you like to jump in the northern one? No. Okay. Fuck no. Okay. All right. So that's it for you. So let's move over to the others. Ome Omega, Gnome, and Grombus. You enter a strange room with two sarcophagi. Same mm. thing as uh, Rafflegators, except the one to the north is filled with gems sparkling beautiful gems and the one to the south is filled with potions all right time to drink all the potions i can eat yeah oh that's pretty deep it's really fucking deep are you sure you want to go in i, I feel like it'll be fine <laughs> what's the worst that could happen all right, I push uh, you in. Up. Do I have something? Maybe something could help me. Uh, maybe not necessarily go down there. Um. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Being very careful. What could I do? 
Hmm. Well, I can't really do anything but go down there. Ah. Uh, what if I grab my great axe, hold it by the uh, the the hilt plate, you know, the the top side, and the handle down? That way, ah. if you're down there, you can jump up, grab the handle, or pull you up. Sounds like a good idea. All right, get down there. All right, all right fine. I'll go down yeah. there. Grab onto your, your very strong yep, here we axe. Go. Mm. Stout. Wooden. Mm. Mm. All right, you lower the gnome down uh, into the sarcophagi. He stands amongst many potions. The same thing happens before. <gasps> In order to escape... <laughs> You will need to do the same thing as I have just went over with Rafflegator. Two athletics checks to leap out, but you may also take a potion with you. I'm gonna take a, a, a white one. A white potion? Okay, I'm just gonna roll sure, randomly. Sure, why not? I'm just gonna roll randomly. Eh, eh. Okay. okay. You, you said athletics, right? Yep, athletics checks gotta leap up. But since you have someone helping you, you have advantage and may roll twice and take the better result. Okay. All right. I'm definitely gonna. Yep. All right. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <How> average. <laughs> the same Grumbus, thing. as you as you lower down your axe handle, the gnome leaps up and bumps his head against it twice. <laughs> All right. Your second athletics attempt. No, I can no. You grab the damn axe. I'm trying. Your head against it. I still have advantage, right? Yes. All right. Oh, no! <laughs> Roll again. Last chance. At least for the athletics. You still get the save. Hold me, Grumpies! Oh, hey! He grabs it and is pulled out moments before yeah. the skeleton grabs it. <laughs> Woo! What did, you, what did you get? Are you okay? Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back down there. <laughs> Choking. Choking. All right. And oh. as this happens, the skeleton, too close. the skeleton goes back to sleep. And the whole of the sarcophagus turns to stone. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't jump in the sarcophagus. Ah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. You want to do the same thing on, to the other on. one? Hold on, chat is losing their <laughs> mind. As I said very clearly, okay, Rafflegator was given two athletics checks and a save, as I stated before he even went in there. Okay. That's true, he did say that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Chat is losing their minds. What did they say? I, I, I think they think that I let you live, which I didn't. And you know that better than most people, I will not let you live. <laughs> yeah. So, who wants to go to the north one? Sure, why not? Yeah, you want to lower me down again? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, let's try the same thing. All right. All right, grab a hold. Here we go. Here. All right. Oh. Uh, sorry, opened up my notes. All right, here, go back down again on the eggs. Really, uh, play with fire here, aren't we? Did you, did you take the potion <laughs> with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. I'm not that stupid. What do you think I am? A gnome. All you right. A gnome, and you oh, could oh. be that stupid. All right. <laughs> you uh, you jump down amongst the gems, the beautiful gems. Same thing as mm. before. Uh, creepy skeleton noise, which hurts my throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And let's roll to see what gem you grab. Still have. What is right? Or. Uh, yep. Now you have to make two athletics with advantage since Grombus is helping. Alright. Ooh. Oh. It's 18. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. Roll okay. again. Cool. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. I still have another take chance. Take 17 correct? from that one. <laughs> right? thou, yes, you do. Does okay. thou wish to gamble? <laughs> We've already gambled. We're already in the process. Ooh, oh, no. 
<laughs> Your soul is mine. You can do it, Gnome. Just grab this damn handle. You did it before. All right. Help me. What? <laughs> no. Oh, no. The creature grasps you, gazes at you, and attempts to steal your life force. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, hold okay. on. Um, All right. I suppose Grombus is still attempting to help you. Oh. By swatting at the creature. Yeah. So I'll get you. I'll give you advantage since you have someone helping. Okay. On, on the wisdom saving throw, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Wasn't needed anyway. Nailed it. The creature oh. is unable to steal your oh. steal your life force. <laughs> As and I'm thus, tapping it with the end of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and thus. Falls asleep. Oh. And you may leave at your leisure. All right, yeah, I'm going. I, I grabbed a gem, right? Yes. All right. Uh... You now have a bow, a gem, and a potion. <laughs> and at this point, <laughs> Melkor comes coffee? waltzing in. What did you get? What kind of gem? Ah. What kind of gem did you get? Very big red one. Put it in my hat. Ah. Ah. Hey, guys. Um, Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I think. Uh, to be clear, chat room, tired. I wasn't actually was talking hat. about my chat. I was talking um, to Rafflegator's chat because they yeah, were losing their uh, minds earlier. Yeah. I just want to be clear. All right. <laughs> Away. <laughs> I well, that looks like someone almost died. Yeah. You know, uh I didn't check the, the northern chest in there. But I I'm Oh right. Uh, to... Here, Grombus, you wanna go back and uh No, we're just gonna keep going. All right, yeah, we, we probably shouldn't gamble again. Unless you want to. No, no, we're we're gonna keep going. <laughs> All right. That was a little bit too close for me. I'm stupid, but not that stupid. All right. Uh, a door lies in front of you. <clears throat> the door is covered in intense arcane sigils, constantly shifting. It will require someone with suitable arcane skills to bypass the cipher. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, right. I can read magic. Right. Hmm. I'm going to look at it. Hmm. Hmm. Just, ah. I swear he's useful. <laughs> what? What do you mean? All right. What? As you gaze at the arcane sigil, this is what you're able to determine. It is protected with explosive runes, but if you successfully uh, are able to map out the passcode and move the sigils into the appropriate position, you will be able to open the door. However, if you fail to undo the lock, it will explode and you will take damage. You may attempt this as many times as you wish. Uh, can only I do this? Or... I don't think anyone else has proficiency in Arcana, okay. unless unless you do. Uh, sorry, you might. You might. Do I? Just check your sheet. Go to Arcana and see if you have proficiency in it. My sheet on the site. Yeah, your character sheet. Yeah. Okay. You don't have it open, do you? No. I am disappointed, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> In either case, uh, Gnome probably has the best shot. So he'd probably be the one rolling anyway. Uh, all right. What do you want? Whoa. Uh, I'm going to try and solve this puzzle. I have a feeling that if I do it wrong, I'm going to blow up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. We already gambled up twice already. Well, what's the third chance? 
What do I blow up? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I guess you're right. Yeah. I can't view my character. Hmm, that's weird. All right, make an Arcana check, Gnome. Okay. Arcana. Oh. All right, nailed it on the first try. The sigils move easily into place, and then now the door can be simply opened. Oh. Wow. All right, then. I did it. Push, push. Push, 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 push. Okay. I would suggest that if you need to go go to the bathroom or anything like that, that you do so. Yeah. Because ah. it's a boss fight time. <sighs> okay, bathroom time. All right. I'll test out some music. Can no ID my bow? If he has the identify spell. Do you have it, you little you short piece of shit? Not with that attitude, he doesn't. Hey, do you have identify weapon, you short piece of shit? No, I do not have that. I could add it sometime if I... All right, well, you better, you better figure it out. Yeah, I have, a, I have a wand I want to identify. Hopefully I don't die. All right. Uh, but I feel like I'm invincible now. Okay, well, get my eye on you. I feel like it just kind of rush you know in what? and do whatever. We're doing this. We're, do want, we're doing this. Uh, yeah. I'm just. I'm talking. What are we? I'm just what are we doing? I'm getting the music ready. That's all. Do the doing. Final Fantasy IX boss battle music. Yeah. I've I've got one ready. Ooh. This is gonna be the one. All right. People, multiple people are telling me to go look in your chat. What What's going on in there? I, I told them every time I donate, they donate, I make the webcam bigger, and this is how far I've gotten. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have to make it transparent so they can see the game. I have a way of doing that. But then it looks really creepy. I'll show you. <laughs> what the fuck? This is your eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I like it. It goes really well with the music. Yeah. And then Gary the alligator looks pretty cool in this too. Where are you, Gary? Hi guys, I'm back from pooping. Hey, sorry. All right. Have a nice poop. Yeah. Okay. Is everyone back then? Yeah. Here yeah. we go. As you open the final door. In the center of the room, surrounded by ritual magic, four great 
blue fire braziers emanate the water around them. Two sarcophagi having been haphazardly moved into this room, complete with a series of chests in the back. A man, laughing, turns towards you. <laughs> it's dick, so. Drink of the wisdom. Drink of the wisdom. And then he raises We're his so hands. Funny. Battle begins. Right. Oh wait, you you post a battle bo b b boss battle music. I'm about to. Yep. B b b boss, b battle. boss battle. There you go. One of my favorite songs. Enjoy. Eleven minutes. Ooh. Rhombus, you gain Oof. initiative. I'll go into a rage! And then I'll take a few steps forward. Anything else? No, that's, that's about it. Take a few steps in the room, got it. Yep. The laughing Vicar goes next, who raises his hands. <laughs> Let's! See what's behind the veil! And he will gesture towards you, Grombus. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, you succeed as the priest's attempts to control your mind are shaken free of. Uh, Omega. This foul blasphemer speaks as a mouth of a lock and high. Time to put him down. Okay, I'm gonna use my Eldritch fucking blood. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright, you move up, fire your Eldritch Blast, and unfortunately, seems to miss him. Oh. You notice that he is protected by a divine shield, which acts as his armor. Gnome. Ah! How far away is he? Alright! I'm going to use my force bolt! Hey! Uh... The force bolt strikes, dealing oh. damage. But the priest has a lot of fight left in him. Um, can you rename my fire bolt to force bolt? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else, Gnome? Eh, I'll just stay here. Belgor. So, when you said he had Divine Shield, what exactly, does that mean he's just very armored? That's just, that's just me describing how, what, like, they, that's my description of what his armor is. It's not some is. crazy, like, like, side thing I have to do before I can damage him, right? No, 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 just... it's just his AC explanation. All right. I am going to move one step to the right. Take it back now, y'all. Uh, do my short bow. Oh, I forgot to roll for clowns. Hold on, let me roll for clowns. Oh, no clowns. God. No clowns. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> I like how we have to roll a dice to see if there's clowns in a room. <laughs> there's a magical wizard in the middle of the room who's about to kill... Wait, are there any cl No, no clowns. All right. Magical wizard. Alright, Belgor. Okay, so I, I took a I took a slide to the right mm -hmm. and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this boy with my bow. I can't use my new bow obviously, right? Because Not I yet. don't have an identified. Correct. So I'm gonna give him a a nice shot. The shot goes wide and does not strike the enemy. Wow. Rhombus. Whoops. I'd like to sprint in and hit him with my great axe. 
promise you run up to the priest and unleash the power of your axe that strikes against his divine shield. <laughs> To me, blessed ones. <laughs> Omega. All right, I'm gonna try my Eldritch Blast again. Uh, what target? Uh, the the last thing. The laughing vicar. Mm-hmm. Four damage dealt. Gnome. Eh. Hmm. Wait, did my did my blow do any damage? Uh your blow I believe missed. Yep. Oh. Uh. Eh. I'm going to force bolt this one. Okay. That will miss. Dang. Unfortunate. Belgor. All right. <laughs> I am going to walk behind Mrs. Dragon over here. I'm going to shoot at this motherfucker right here. Okay. With my short bow. Ooh, a massive strike. Oh. Land a massive strike. Well done. Anything and, else? Uh, oh, and then I want to sneak while I'm behind her. Okay. So I have to do a sneak check, right? Make a stealth check. Um, one second, please. Did, that, did it work? I mean, you don't know. You just make the stealth check, and then I react if I see you or not. I mean, you didn't roll well, oh. so it probably didn't. Promise. Oh. I'll take another swing at the laughing vicar. Oh. Your swing goes wide. <laughs> I'll see what your insides sound like! He will gesture towards you and the Blessed Ones will start moving forward. But first, the Laughing Vicar will cast a spell. He will bless both of them. Oh. Blessed, Blessed Ones. Blessed squid. Oh my god. They will attack Brombus. Uh -oh. uh. 16. We'll find purchase. Oh. You are raging, correct? Uh, yeah. Alright, so reduce that by half. Uh. The other one will attack. Striking true. Take 7 damage. Oh. Oh. Omega, Grombus, it's not long for this world. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I still have more help than Gnome, though. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. Shut up. Try to spear this one, okay? They're gonna smite that one. Yeah, spear, smite. Yeah. Okay, now remember, you have two uses of smite because you have two spells. So whenever yeah. you attack them, you can choose to smite after you dealt damage. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. All right. Roll to attack with your spear. Oh my god. Unfortunate. That will miss completely. <laughs> Not good. Gnome. Eh. I have to protect my friends. I will cast Tasha's hideous laughter on this evil dude. Put it, guy. All right. So, if I'm correct, 
Uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw against my spell DC. Yep. What spell is it? Uh, the spell or the or the DC? The spell. What is the spell? Kasha's hideous laughter. Oh. Okay. I hope it works. Uh, hold on. You need to me read... to tell you my DC? No, I just need to read something okay. real quick. Alright. By the way, um, this boss we're fighting, what kind of monster is it? Uh, he is a human priest of a lock and hide. Okay. All right, this, all uh, right, the, you cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter upon him. Yeah. All right, he will choose to fail it on purpose and begins to laugh hysterically. What? What? Wait, that's not how it works. What? what? You're supposed to, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Gnome? Um, I stare at Belgor's butt. Belgor. Okay. Um. Are, th are these blessed ones undead? They are aberrations. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna shoot this one, this motherfucker, with a bow and arrow. I'm gonna move a little bit here to the left. Fire and, away. Uh, that will unfortunately miss. Oh man. Um, I can't hide anywhere, can I? You have nothing to hide behind. All right, that's it for me. Grombus. Oh, I'll use a reckless attack and a swing at Blessed One Seven. All right, swing With out. Great axe. Ooh. Roll an extra d12. That is a critical. Ooh. Oh, Grommus's <sighs> wrath will not be denied. You gouge your axe directly into its chest, lift it above your head, and rip the creature in two. <sighs> two massive chunks fall on each side. Who's next? <laughs> Alright, let me make a wisdom saving throw at the end of my turn. Yeah, that's enough. Uh. I am no longer laughing. Alright, this blessed one didn't like you doing that to his friend, so he's gonna smash you. Oh, he's not. He is not going to do that. Omega. Uh, I'm gonna try my spear again. Um, let's do one eight. Right. Unfortunately, that is a miss. Gnome. I will cast fire bolt. Can I actually aim it? Yeah. Don't, also, don't forget, sorry, that if I attack Grombus and you're next to him. You can use yeah. your reaction to give me disadvantage. You can try to block for him. Okay. All right. Forest bolt on ugly, ugly guy. <laughs> ah! Great. And to be clear, Grombus, normally whenever I would attack you after you reckless attacked, I would get advantage, but this creature does not get that. Oh. Yeah. All right. And you are shooting with no, that's a miss. Yeah. Belgor. Alright. Belgor does a, a 360 and then shoots his short bow at this guy in fashionable sense. <laughs> Unfortunate. And then moves back. <laughs> <laughs> Grumbus! I'll use a reckless attack. I'm blessed, one eight. Oh, hey, hey. 
with my great axe. Roll again. Huh? Finding purchase. The creature staggers back, taking damage. What the? Oh, this thing is acting weird. Okay, there we go. All right, this creature will stand up. Such a potent warrior! You would do better to serve the Mad God! A wisdom saving throw, Grombus. <laughs> Unshaken! <laughs> Undeterred! <laughs> your mind is your own! The Blessed One raises its claw to crush Grombus. Finding purchase, seven damage, Grombus. Dazed. <laughs> Reeling, about to break. Omega. Uh, uh I, I use my Eldritch fucking blast on um the blessed one eight. All right, that is a that is a hit factory. Oh, actually, you might want to attack with your spear. Because when you're in melee range like this, attacking oh, with shit. your uh, okay. Eldritch Blast imposes disadvantage. So that's okay. We can turn that into a spear attack. So just go ahead and roll your spear attack. And we'll use that for the damage. All right, three damage. Five. Would you like to smite? I didn't really give you a chance. Yes. All right, so let me explain how this works. So you summon the power of your of your deity. It courses through your weapon, and it does an extra 2d8 damage. 2d8? Mm-hmm. In parentheses? Uh, brackets. Br brackets. Boom! You smite the creature. Ooh. Babylon's power coursing through your spear and exploding through its chest. <laughs> well done, Omega. You may do that one more time. Gano. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Forrest Belt, the hooded guy. It's kind of sexy the more I look at him. You know? <laughs> but a little bit too creepy for me. So I'll say no to him. Yeah! Oh my God, damage roll. Holy hell. I, 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 I rolled oh. one last time for damage, so. Hardly fair. Belgor. <clears throat> Alright. Belgor says. Alright, enough messing around. Moves a step forward in slow fashion and shoots a short bow directly at the boss. The shot goes wide and deals no damage. Fuck. Grombus! Uh, uh, I'm angry, I'm just gonna hit him with my great axe. With a reckless attack. Oh, reckless. <sighs> so reckless. Again, Casey Crit. All right. The laughing vicar stumbles back as the blow strikes him. <laughs> the laughing vicar will smile. Did you think it would be that easy? <laughs> oh, luck in high flows through me. The vicar is healed for 15. Omega. Uh, I'm gonna use... Wait, it's my, my turn, right? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna use my spear again, and then what's, what's my... Ooh, alright. Roll another 2d8. Okay. Alright, five damage as the smite bounces off the creature's shield. 
breaks through a crack and slams into its chest. Oh! Get home. Hey! This is for my mom and dad! Force boat! Alright, damage dealt. Yes. Alrighty. That's it. Yeah. Belgor. Belgor, when he missed the last arrow, noticed that there are chests in the background and slowly starts heading towards them oh my God. while shooting at the boss. <laughs> he shoots his bow and arrow from here. That will miss, unfortunately. Yeah, no surprise. Grumbus. I'm still enraged, right? It lasts through the whole thing, or no? It lasts for a minute, I'm pretty sure. We're on okay. round seven, so you've still got time. Reckless attack with more great eggs. Roll again. <laughs> 14 damage. Uh, yep, that hits right on the money. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and so it ends like this! So be it! I call to the voice of thunder! Thunder? Oh. All right, Rhombus and Omega, I need you to make for me a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Shit, that's not it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How do I? Oh, I did uh, it. Throw in there. I did it. <laughs> oh, that's a lot bigger. Yeah, that's All a right. lot better. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Wait, you rolled twice? I accidentally uh, the rolled one. Constitution, not Constitution saving. Well, they're both the same, so I have to oh, take the first roll. Sorry. It's okay. Fine. It's okay. I have to take the first roll. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so that means Omega will take 14 damage, and Grombus will take 7 damage. Ugh. A thunder wave blasts, blasts out from the laughing Vicar. The sounds of laughter flowing all around him. Omega is <laughs> thrown I backwards. I accidentally threw it in the Oh. Here we go. Brombus, take seven damage. You already did. All right, good. Ah. Uh, Omega. Okay. Death saving huh? throw. Wait, wait, wait. It's, um... It's not working? It's just a d20. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just type it in. Yeah. I have to actually put those rolls on there. Unfortunately, that is a fail. Your life force ebbs into the ground. Gnome. Ah, no. The, the least sexy one has fallen. I <laughs> will use my force vault on the enemy. Yeah. Ah, well. Unfortunately, yeah. that will miss. Belgor, yeah. things are looking grim. Belgor, furious with the misses that he's had, looks deep inside and flips a coin to decide if he should go in for the final melee hit. 
If it's a two, he will go for it. He decides against it. And goes <laughs> one more step north and shoots his short bow in disappointment. Ah. Mm. The arrow makes flight. It hurtles towards your enemy, striking through his mask. The final sounds the Viker makes is a laughing gurgle. <laughs> and your enemy is defeated. But quickly, Thanks, Dad. You must attend to Omega, lest her life force leaves her. Grombus, thankful you have a turn before her. And having had to do this a lot, you squeeze her head softly. Oh, she <clears throat> right inside. All right. You can go ahead and wake up, Omega, because at this point, the area is clear. We did it! We did it! We... We're not dead. Oh, I'm not feeling so good. Ah, ah, uh, ah. I feel like I feel like maybe a, a one out of thirty at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Does, but, uh, uh, you have it. You have a healing potion, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, maybe maybe we could take a short rest. Maybe that. That'd be nice. Yeah, can we all take a short rest? I'll do you one better. You can take a long rest, for you have successfully ah! completed the dungeon. Thank you. Yeah, all, right. all right, so everybody may heal themselves to full life, and then we can get to checking out all these cool chests. <laughs> full health always. <laughs> <laughs> but all it takes is one hit. Let's be honest. I'm going to take a look at the vicar on the ground, or what used to be him. All right. As you take a close look, the Vicar has, well, lots of strange things, but what he has... Well, first of all, he has lots of strange things in his pockets, like like, like, like random copper pieces. He's got, like, lint. He's got strings that are knotted up in a really strange way. But the thing that is pointed out the most is that he has three letters that are sealed and are marked by a symbol of heraldry from one of the noble houses of Verum. Specifically, does anyone here have uh, history? Or, or rather, you could all roll history as a skill check. Okay. All right. I'm a, I, I, you know. Grumbus, uh, having bit. been a oh, world traveler. You dabble a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I dabble a little bit in, in, in history. <laughs> I've seen that book once. It, was, it had some words. Grombus uh, happens to recognize this symbol. Smart and strong. Wow. And symbol. nice mm. hair, too. And nice hair, too. Wow. <laughs> hey, wow. So yeah. charming. And a nice butt. <laughs> Grombus. Recognize the symbology. It represents an old noble house, long since believed destitute and forgotten. It carries with it the symbol of the house of Blackfire. Mm. Blackfire. Blackfire. Blackfire hasn't been around. In Ages. Why do you have these letters? This is what you know about the Blackfires. Specifically, they are a uh, they are a noble family that was known to uh, that was known to deal deeply with demons, specifically those of the Shadowfell. Uh, they were a very well they they were a, a very prominent and wealthy family before the fall during the reckoning. At which point they and their family members were scattered and their estate fell into ruins. Most notably, it is believed that the patriarch of the Blackfire family was a nearly all-powerful lich that collected many magical artifacts. Most notably, there are two spears, the Leaf and the Thorn of Kalmor, which was another 
noble house that once was allied with the Blackfires and in fact helped found their house. These two weapons have never been recovered and are said to hold great power. This is a letter from the Blackfire. There might still be around, including those weapons, the leaf and the thorn. I should read this. Do you open the letters to read them? I'm open the letters to read them. As you do so, you read their contents, and the three of them appear to be not so much correspondence between friends, but rather they are orders and confirmations of those orders. Specifically, these cultists were not just being led by Olak and High, but an unseen hand seems to be controlling these particular puppets. And that hand bears only the name Blackfire. It seems from the postage that you are able to recognize that it comes from Krasix. Interesting. Mike, read it. This is a letter coming from Krasix. These people, they work for Blackfire. Ah. Okay, and what use is it to us? Well, he's a lot bigger than us. This can't be the only time this is going to happen. There's got to be more of these creeps around here. Yeah. Not really into the creepy, mm. insane type. Also, to be clear, you remember who sent you down here, right? And why? The half father. Under a cold wall, I would it? Wait. No, 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 no. The half. We're not even on the half father's quest, are we? This is a side quest, right? The half father. Uh, the, the half father sent you to investigate the docks because he believed that there was a rival gang pushing in on his turf, and there was also rumor of cultists and all kinds of. Of, of dark shit going on and he needed you to find out what was going on and thus you have not only killed the source of the corruption or at least the uh, source that you can mm. see but you have also uncovered that there is a, a, a much more in-depth plot somebody is pulling the strings of these cultists somebody who has moved in on the half-father's turf something to consider especially for Belgor who wants to be a you know a, a ranked up promotional criminal you might consider Robert as to, or rather, as Belgor, you might consider, do you think that this information is valuable enough to sell back to the Half-Father, or perhaps to gain favor with him? Or will you keep it to use of your own volition? A decision to be made. Either one has pros and cons. Ah, uh, yes. I will. Well, I don't decide now, right? Eh. Right, right? I did give you the information, so you have it. You can yeah. Yeah, you can decide right now. I'm not gonna decide yeah. right now. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll decide when we get back based off the tone of the half father. I wanna find out some more about him. I'd like to see more of him. So look at these chests. Can we can we review the information that we got right now again? Sure. What would you like to review? Just everything that's happened so far? Just, yeah, like a TLDR so I can okay. write it down efficiently. Yeah. All right. You delivered a package from Barguest to the Half-Father, which was just supposed to be a simple job. And for the most part, it was. However, once you arrived and spoke with the Half-Father, he offered you not only room and board, but he asked of you to perform a task for him. And if you did so he would see that you were rewarded. And that task was to investigate the docks for news of a rival gang and put them down. And if possible... There was supposed to be something about elves too, wasn't there? Spy on elves? Well, that was something... That was a subplot that happened as you came uh, from Barghest to here. That was specifically the Conformist versus the Iotanus Imperium elves. Which you ah, actually, yes, of course. Which you, which you spoke with them in their encampment, in their caravan. You remember the Soothsayer and all of that? Yes. Okay. Well, whenever you went to the half father, the person he was meeting with before you came to speak to him, 
was one of the representatives of the Ayatonis Imperium, who was threatening the Half Father and and moving in, or, or oh, yeah. was threatening to to move in on his turf. The Half Father asked you to investigate the people at the docks because he didn't want to fight a war on two fronts. Yeah. And also, there's the cultist problem. And as it turns out, you have been able to find out that the the other gang and the cultists are one and the same uh, team, so to speak. And this particular thread that you found uh, is indicative that someone named Blackfire is pulling the strings of this side. Where was the letter from again? Krasix. I just spelled Krasix. Here, I'll spell it for you. All right. I've got my notebook filled. Okay. Treasure! All right. The treasure to the north, as you begin to open it and investigate it, you realize are the stolen goods from the Half-Father, from oh. the nearby warehouses. So you have a choice. You can either take all of it, none of it, give it all back to the Half-Father. You can choose what percentage you want to give back to the Half-Father. There is a total of 4,000 gold pieces worth of random wealth here. Mm. That's a lot of gold. Should I take all of the? Should we take all of this gold, Mister Coin? If I roll two, <laughs> we should take all oh of it. God. Should we take half of this gold, Mister Coin? If I roll two, we'll so take half of this gold. Coin. All right, we better give the gold to the half father. I Let's mean, give it right. a third of it. He'll appreciate it. Yeah, or half again. He's so going forever. All three of these chests are with gold? Yeah. Like, total, oh. it's 4,000. Nice. Oh. However, there are two other things you could look at. I will look at this thing. You see, the two sarcophagi are popped open just like the others. However, it seems that this pit is even deeper for both of them. It's 15 oh. feet instead of 10 feet, <laughs> making the difficulty of escape a 20. Fuck that. What's in him? Yeah, no. Well, at the bottom of this one, you can see a set of gleaming armor. Oh. At the bottom of this one, a set, a gleaming weapon of unknown type. What kind of weapon? A gleaming weapon of an unknown type. Well, I don't really use weapons. weapons. I don't know. Do we? So I have to roll a, a t can I can I just use the fucking holy water again to get a use a holy water? That didn't help you last you, time. You did it saving throw. I didn't throw. help you oh, this yeah, way this thing right. scream at you. The, sa the saving throw is you escaping. That's what that represents. Uh, like from the grasp. I will tell you this that the sarcophagi, the check to get out of, for athletics is twenty, and the save DC, which is how high you have to get, is also higher for the death save. So Oh it does. Be careful. Yeah, let's just head back. Do we Don't want to trample it. again? Can we take the what gold. Can we even take all this gold? That's a lot of gold. You want to gamble again? You've got, we'll you, you you've got, you've got strong people. I'm considering it. Well, I'll try and help you out, okay? If you know what? No. Down, no. no. I ain't no. doing it again. No. 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 <laughs> not this time. No. No, not this time. Not this time. Yeah, let's go. We can use Let's the 4,000 gold to make a stairway into the <laughs> chest. <laughs> dump it all in. Yeah. <laughs> Just dump He's it got a point. The pit. He oh, the it's a... He's got a point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I want to do it. <laughs> Sorry, can I get you to, to do that for one of my sub styles? Just go, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can. As... She, she's already doing my sub sound. It's, I definitely yeah. recommend it. Does, doesn't she do the uh, donation thing? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the cash, daddy. <laughs> my goodness. 
Oh, do it. Wow. Do it live. Thanks for the cash, Daddy. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we take... You just what? <laughs> this game? What? <laughs> what? I mean, you, you said I just... What? And I then just... you started making noises. I, I, I... <laughs> I was just thinking because I want to just make a bunch of sub sounds based off all the players that I have and all the different stuff they do with their character. Like, I want to get one of Valco just going, Oh, look, it's a tiny you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey. Well, we take the gold. You take the gold. Got it. All right. You do, do you attempt the sarcophagi? We could put the no. gold in the sarcophagi and climb out easily that way. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a bad idea. What do you mean a bad idea? That actually sounds like a smart idea. It sounds like an idea where we lose all the gold to give to the half <laughs> We're going to get our asses kicked by the half father. He's oh, pointing. I'll, Look at him pointing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll deal with a half father. Oh, <laughs> don't you worry. He'll be a full father by the time I'm done with yes. it. Yes. <laughs> His little point, dude. <laughs> you got a problem with my point? <laughs> Isn't there like an alternate method we could get it? Like maybe use like a cloak or something? Oh. I have like an idea. Rope. Hey, a rope! Wow, all what a great clothes. idea! Well, we don't have a rope. Does, do we? does anyone here I, I have any kits, like explorer packs or anything like that? Because those have rope. I'm pretty sure I actually do. Yeah, there is rope. Thank goodness do somebody I? finally oh, said the word rope. We fuck. <laughs> just, it's not as fun. I'm just sitting here waiting for somebody to say the word rope. I don't remember what we have. Uh, I don't remember what pack I have. What are thieves' tools? That's what you use to open locks and stuff with. I don't have it. I don't have anything for that, do I? Look, one of you has rope. I know because I'm yeah. you your packs. Yeah. All right. Pretty positive. Right. Rope tightening. All right. If you use a rope, you automatically escape. Oh. Okay. Well. Then I'm gonna do it. All right. All right. Oh my god! He just <laughs> <me>. he, <dies. laughs> he just he just dies from the fall. He just dies from the fall. It almost breaks both his like... legs and dies instantly. He didn't even <laughs> with it. Easiest clap of my life. All right, you guys get a gleaming set of armor and a gleaming weapon. Uh, who goes into the weapon area? Which one's the weapon at? The one on the right. I've already got a bow. Oh, no. I think Grombus should oh, do, do it. Or Omega. Yeah, Grombus. Either one. Either one. I wasn't planning on getting the first. weapon. You jump in? Okay. Alright, so there is a great axe. Ooh. Feels good, man. It's a great axe. What was the armor, by the way? The armor, what kind of armor was it? The armor is a changed. Oh, hold on. Studded leather. Ah. Oh. I want a new hat. Hey, no, you wanna you wanna see how I would look in that leather? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know all the right questions. Oh, oh yeah, put it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't put it on until it's identified, but don't worry, you can do it when you get back to town. <laughs> but that's uh that's pretty much the end <laughs> of tonight's session though, guys. Good job. You have to yeah, look the like in that unidentified we didn't die. armor. Oh, yeah, put it on. Let me look at it. Yeah. Let's get some clappers and chat. Yeah, get some claps. Claps. This is... What is going oh on? God. This is weird. <laughs> okay, anyway, um... That's, uh, that's gonna be it for the session tonight. We're gonna pick back up mm. next time. With everybody speaking to the half father, turning in that, and then moving on to the next bit of plot. I hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed the dungeon. Yeah, oh, great time. Uh, it was scary. Was Twenty-nine of my thirty hit points. I didn't get hit at all. 
<laughs> I, I didn't fucking I land four hits any in a row. hits. My fucking hits are so bad. I think I also missed four hits in a row. So you guys I missed liked it. a lot. You guys like the yeah. the I love balance. It. Like I tried to balance I... it so that it'd be scary, but you could still come out on top. I almost yeah, died. I'm, uh, I'm glad it wasn't yeah. super yeah. OP. I almost in died this time. a lot too. <laughs> I almost died twice in a row. <laughs> I almost <laughs> almost died. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta live it. Yeah, it's exciting. You gotta live on the edge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so much on the edge. edge. Got so much right. edge. Right. So much fucking edge. All right. Well, we're not at a Green Day concert. So much edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank uh, Rob, sorry, Valco, and Shrimp for showing up late night game yeah. and for playing. Because it means a lot. Uh, I want to thank Arcadum for hosting. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, Arcadum. Happy birthday again, by the way. Thanks. Happy birthday, Arcadum. Double happy birthday. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my I want, I want to I get Rob, because I, I like doing this meme in my chat whenever I go into my world, because there's the little Robfulgator like, in my world. So I pick him up and like move him around and have him talk to little me. And he's like... Hey, Arcadum, you want to go wingman? I'm Polish. Like, it's like, I keep thinking of saying. <laughs> Skull. Yes. Am I right? I just, I want him to just say, it. I'm Polish. Just, just like. <laughs> gotta get that as a soap cell, dude. I'm Polish. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making Clip it. Laugh, Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> hey, Arcadum. Yeah. I'm Polish. <laughs> Gets them every time. <laughs> I am I am Polish. <laughs> I am I am Poland. I am Poland. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, anybody remember Poland Ball? Yeah, of course. Poland Ball. Good memes. Yeah, Poland Ball. Eldor decides to betray his friends and kills Gnome with a swift <laughs> bag to the throat. Yeah, I, that ain't really uh, betrayal you wouldn't, me. You wouldn't hurt yourself. I use the sky self and disguise myself as him. Ah, but you see, the no the dagger is blocked by Gnome's chin hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Come as just a little spinny thing. Alright, let me let me save all this. Good stuff. Now I can finally go to bed after straight like fourteen <laughs> hours of D and D work, man. I'm so Ooh. tired. <laughs> so go to sleep. All right, let me shut all this down. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Hell yeah.